and he said, you won't fucking shag on bread and jam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Carl Shepard and this is Chadder, checking out Chadder. It's fucking raining. Episode 3, Get In. For the final leg of the Hidden Britain tour, Lad Babble have brought me to Cheddar Gorge. It's in Somerset in England and it's named after a cheese, mental. What? It's not. Okay. And it's where they make Cheddar cheese. Cheddar Gorge! There's a bloody cost of coffee here. Look at that! You think you're in the back end of nowhere and then you see a Costa Coffee and you're like, what's a Costa Coffee doing there? Why is your Costa Coffee there? Heaven knows why the goats live here. Meh. Oh, he's, oh, I'm just watching him do a poo. Cheddar Gorge is massive. Clarkson and Hammy Boy would have loved smashing those hairpin bends. It was a bit hard to get an idea of the scale of it though, but fear not, Lab Bible have always got a solution. I'm at the Mendip Gliding Club. I saw Cheddar Gorge from the ground, now I'm about to see it from the sky. In this thing. Today, Carl, we've got the advantage of flying in the motor glider. Okay. It's the best of both worlds. So we've got the independence to be able to launch like a light aircraft. And yet, when we're at height, we can switch the engine off and go through the glide exercises, and we fly it just like a glider. It's quite small, isn't it? Cozy. Cozy. Cozy, Cozy yeah, it's a good way to put it. Oh. So am I like your co-pilot for today? Absolutely. Co-pilot Shepard. Let's do it. This was cool, but I had a few nerves at the thought of being over 2,000 feet in the air and Stephen turning the engine off. Whoa. That is a, that is a weird feeling. You did, it doesn't feel like we're moving. Because the last thing we want is someone to crash into us. Flying over the gorge was unreal. I've seen and done some pretty cool things on this trip, but I never thought I'd fly a plane and without an engine. I thought I was pretty hardcore actually, until Stephen told me that there were 14 year olds who do it all the time. That was incredible. Absolutely unbelievable. I was flying like, like Tom Cruise from Top Gun. But I accept I didn't have the missiles. It's living the dream. It's living the dream. Living on a dream. I know the wrong song. But yeah, that was it. Well, thank you very much, Stephen. I had an awesome time up in the air, and Stephen is a bloody legend. I kind of see him like a cool dad. But that wasn't me done for the day, oh no. And by this point, Lab Bible knew I could pretty much do anything. So off we went to my final challenge, buzzing. Like a bee, Bzzz. It's like Lord of the Rings. It's master! Master, my name is Schmiegel! Master, where's the ring? Good impression on it. Motocross. I was well up for this. Driving a bike around a track would be well easy. Put it this way, I've flown a plane, I've driven a tank, I've even ridden my nan's mobility scooter around the block a few times. How hard could this be? No, it's not. Uh, sorry, I thought that was paint. Spray paint, so... Uh, lubricant. <laughs> Everything's got oil on it. I got kitted out like a pro, so off I went to meet Jordan, a super cool dude who's apparently an awesome biker too. I could tell we were going to be best mates. Jordan! 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 Fuck. Why has he done that? He could fit, he could easily fit two people on there. So me and Jordan, we've made our way over to the track. I'm feeling a little apprehensive. I can definitely, I can definitely ride this bike. Yeah? Cool. Yeah. Okay, up see Daisy. Yeah, cramp, cramp, cramp. Get on the bike, get on the bike, trip it out. Ah. Uh, first attempt. Yeah, first attempt. Yeah. 
we have a go on a different bike? Yeah. It's just a button this one. After I'd gotten used to the bike and nailed the practice area, Jordan said I was ready to have a crack at the main track. And I suspected I was proper class. I've got a bit of a cold, so I just thought I'd sit out on this one. Let's probably put them in the bush. Okay, so maybe motocross wasn't quite as easy as I thought it'd be. But still, I was in desperate need of a drink, and there's no drink more West Country than cider. So I'm at Wilkins Cider, which is a traditional cider farm um, in Somerset, and I'm about to meet Roger, who runs the place. So let's go and meet him. What would you like? Dry way? or medium or sweet? Uh, I don't know. You better go on medium then. I'll start. go on medium then. Give us some of the medium. The dry for the men. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. All the best. All the best. Roger's been living on and running the farm his whole life. He took over from his granddad at 21, and he still seems pretty in love with cider. I drunk cider ever since I was four or five years of age. Did not the telly, but I used to drink 16, 20 points a day. Never been ill, never been bad. So that's the secret to a long life, drink Good. lots of Good. cider. Goodness, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. His cider's been drunk by all the celebs, Lily Allen, Mick Jagger, Jamie Oliver, all of Glastonbury at one point, and he's proper passionate about his cheddar cheese and all. Have a big hunk, you get in to grease the ribs. <laughs> grease the ribs? <laughs> cheese and cider, you won't beat it. No. What's the story behind this? Well, say Banksy done the actual stencil, cut the big piece of brown paper out. Yeah. And somebody else come in and sprayed it. Oh. Banksy? Mm. Wow. Roger was a character. He was larger than life, he loves what he does, and he was really happy. I mean, like, really, really happy. A lot of people say eat apple a day, I wear a drink a gallon of cider, you ain't not chewing <laughs> up. <laughs> I drink it rough, you. Lucas A. Lucas A. <laughs> and he said, you won't fucking shag on bread and jam. <laughs> Wilkins Farm was Wellwood. It's a mad little barn full of history and character that hasn't changed for like a hundred years. You can lose hours in there just exploring. Though that might have had something to do with the four giant barrels of cider. You sleep like a log, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good cider, make you belt. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so on that note, it was time for me to leave. I was feeling pretty merry, but was sad to see the trip was over. I've been to some amazing places and met some dead cool people. I've zipped wide over a canyon, done poetry, played bagpipes, climbed a mountain, well, sort of. Driven a tank, twerked, sung, danced, been launched from a catapult, bloody hell. It might not quite be the Grand Tour, being in the UK in November and all, but Great Britain has been ace. That's pretty good it's over, to be honest. Is it definitely over? Coming up through a second, okay. Ta-ra. See, that's what I like about Britain. Quirks. <laughs>